Yo, what's up mga pari guys? So for this video, ang pag-uusapan natin is mga problems which is involving both double angle and sum in difference. Kunwari, kasi may mga problems na gagamit ka ng dalawang identities, mag-merge yung sum in difference at double identities. So, how does that problem look like? So, this is it. Alright, so we have this problem. This is not a double angle. Hindi rin siya natin parang ma-divide gaya ng ginawa natin sa double, sa sine for theta, di ba? So, paano natin ito gagawin? We will break this down. Gagawin natin siyang sum identity. Gagawin natin siyang sine theta plus 2 theta. So, sa theta plus 2 theta is also equal to sa 3 theta. So, magiging sine identity na siya. So, isusulat natin yung sine sum sum identity ng sine is equals to sine a plus b is equal yan guys sa sine a sine a sine a cosine b plus sine b cosine a so i rewrite natin to so ito yung a ito yung b so that would be equal to sine theta cosine 2 theta plus sine b b is 2 theta that would be sine double theta cosine of a which is theta okay so from this problem pwede pa natin yung ma-expand kung makapansin nyo meron na tayong mga double angle identities this is cosine double theta sine double theta so pwede pa natin yung ma-expand so let's expand that that's sine theta ano yung value ng cosine double theta cosine double theta guys theta has 3 values diba cosine double theta has 3 values first is Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Second is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And third is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So since yung dinederive natin is lahat sila nasa sine, pipiliin natin yung value ng cosine double theta na sine rin lang. So I will choose this. ano Kasi kapag pinili natin itong may cosine, mas mahihirapan tayo mag-evaluate sa succeeding processes. So ito yung, ito yung pipiliin kong isa substitute dito. So I will substitute that. That would be equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Next is plus sine double theta. Iisa lang naman yung value niyan. So I have no choice. So that would be equal to 2 sine theta, cosine theta, multiplied to cosine theta. Okay, so let's distribute. So this, uh, multiply ko yan. So that would be equal to sine theta minus 2 sine, that's 1 plus 2 is 3, raised to 3 theta, plus 2 sine theta, cosine squared theta. Okay. Okay, guys. So kung mapapansin nyo, Meron pa rin tayong cosine dito. Eh, lahat yung dinidrive naman natin is lahat sila nasa sine. So, yung gagawin ko for now is hahanap ako ng paraan paano gagawin anong mga identity yung gagamitin ko para ito, yung cosine squared theta is maging sine. So, I will use the Pythagorean identity. Pythagorean identity, that would be equal to cosine squared theta is equals to 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay. So, isasubstitute ko yan. So, that would be, I will just copy that out. 3 theta plus would be 2 sine theta. Substitute ko to. That would be equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So ngayon, i-distribute ko ulit yan. This would be equal to 2 sine theta minus 2 sine raised to 3 na yan theta. Okay, so this is equals to sine theta minus 2 sine is to 3 theta. I can now add like terms. So, this is similar to this and this is similar to this. 1 sine plus 2 sine is equals to 3 sine theta. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 sine is to 3 theta. And basically, that's the proof equal sila. End of proof. Alright? Next problem. Sa ating problem naman nito, We will do the same way that we did in the last problem. This would be equal to tangent double theta plus theta. That is equal to this. So, magiging sum siya. So, isulat muna natin ano ba yung sum identity ng tangent para hindi natin makalimutan. Sum A plus B, that's equal guys sa tangent A plus tangent B over 1 minus tangent A tangent B. So, it's really a must na dapat memorize nyo na yung mga identities natin para when it comes to solving 
you don't uh, you you will go directly mas para mas mabilis okay so i substitute na natin yung mga values na yan tangent a a is double theta tan double theta plus tangent of theta that's over 1 minus tangent a that's tangent double theta plus b which is tangent of theta guys mapapansin niyo ang mga values na natin dito Meron tayong value na double theta. So, pwede natin substitute yan. Again, let's recall na tangent double theta, guys, is equal yan sa 2 tan theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Nasa identity po natin yan. So, isubstitute natin siya dito. Okay, let's use another color. So, that would be equal to 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta plus tangent of theta. Also, dito sa baba, that's 1 minus 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta plus, a joke lang, hindi pala yun plus. Guys, hindi to plus, ha? sorry. Walang plus dyan. So, that's equal times 2 multiplied to tangent theta. Walang, walang plus po dyan. This is tangent A times tangent B. Alright? So, next here is equal to, i-evaluate na natin to. Let's add this out. Common denominator nila dyan is 1 minus tangent squared theta. Because this is 1 just multiplied denominator. Next is to cross multiply. That would be equal to 2 tangent theta. 2 tangent theta plus, i-distribute natin yung tan sa both sides. That would be equal to tangent theta tangent theta, tapos meron tayong negative tangent squared theta. Over, dito naman tayo sa baba, evaluate natin to, i-distribute natin yan. Pag multiply natin to sa numerator, this would be equal to 2 tangent squared. So that's 1 minus 2 tangent squared theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Okay, so evaluate na, evaluate na natin yan. Ito, 2 tangent 2 tangent plus tangent, pwede natin yung gawing 3 tangent theta minus tangent squared theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Yung baba naman, evaluate natin to. This is over 1, multiply the denominator. This, that would be equal to 1 minus tangent squared theta. Cross multiply. Cross multiplying that, that would be equal to 1 minus tangent squared theta minus uh, 2 tangent squared theta. So, ito, pwede na natin itong makancel. It's the same. And ito, that's 3 tangent theta minus tangent squared theta. Dito sa baba, pwede natin itong evaluate. Tangent squared theta is the same dito kasi they have the same variable tangent squared theta. So, that's the same as 1. That's negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 tangent squared theta. So, basically, we have proved that this is equal to dito. That's 3 tangent theta minus tangent squared theta over 1 minus 3 tangent squared theta equal siya dyan. Alright? So, that's it mga pare ko. If you have some questions, comment it down below. That try natin yung sagutan. That's it. Bye-bye. Mga pare ko.